Hey guys, well, Happy New Year, belatedly, and all that. Um, hope everybody had a good time. I certainly did. My boys came to visit. Had a huge crowd for Christmas lunch on the 25th, etc. It was great. Anyway, back to the back to the bench. Um, this current project, what I'm evaluating is um, an antenna rotator. My Welberg loop, um, which has been fitted for some time with this uh, electro electromechanical uh, setup, the rotator that I got from you know where, um, gave me a lot of trouble installing it. Um, and um, well, it's packed up. It looks like it's jammed up. Now I could probably take it apart and you know unjam it and you know whatever. And I thought eh, it's such a clumsy thing anyway. And so the Welberg loop is relatively light. And so I thought let's let's build something with a stepper motor. Um, and so um, this is just uh, testing theory and mock up and stuff. And so this is a rotary encoder. It takes a 5 volt supply and underneath it has four wires uh, to go off to each of the phases of a stepper motor and it will drive a small baby stepper motor like this guy directly. And so when I rotate the thing one way, the motor will go one way and when I rotate the other way, it'll go the other way. However, this thing obviously with a 5 volt supply and I think it can supply just, you know, maybe 100 milliamps or something per coil here in terms of current. And so of course it's no good. You can, um, I need something that's going to drive a fairly hefty bigger stepper motor. So the next logical step up is to use one of these uh, stepper motor driver modules. Um, this particular guy can I think deliver up to 4 amps peak per phase. Um, and so, you know, that will happily drive, I guess, certainly uh, a NEMA 23 and probably even a 34. Um, and so that would be adequate for my needs. Um, however, these things work in a different way in the sense that you provide a pulse and a direction signal. And so this guy will decode the um, direction signal to say which way to phase the signals out to the stepper. And so at the moment all I've done is I've connected one of the phases to the clock input here um, so that when you turn the handle you're getting your clock pulse. But of course it doesn't matter which way I turn the handle. Uh, the motor will always keep going the same way because the direction signal isn't changing. So my, um, my ask of you guys is suggestions. Is there some way that I can connect the two sets of coil driver wires from the base of this to some circuit that will detect the phase difference so that when I turn it the other way I can connect it up to the direction signal in the, in the um, stepper motor driver and so get direction control without having to do something like a like obviously if I put a manual switch to make it higher low that'll work but then you've lost the sophistication <laughs> if you like of being able to turn it clockwise and anti-clockwise directly from the rotary controller. So that's the task. That's where I need your guys' help. So um, give me some suggestions, please, so I can do this. I've been trying to look at things like uh, if there are handy phase comparator ICs and things that I could, you know, breadboard up a little something. Uh, so far, I haven't found anything satisfactory. Um, and so ultimately, what I would like to do is A, solve that little design problem. And then hook it up to my meaty uh, 24 volt power supply and get a, a chunky, as I say, like NEMA 34 or something on here. Um, and feed it to 4 amps. And that should happily um, rotate my Welberg loop. So uh, let me know, guys. Um, any thoughts and suggestions? Most welcome. Uh, and uh, if I can get it working, uh, if you like, on the bench in theory, mocked up like this, then we will get on to designing a weatherproof type solution because ideally all I want outside is the stepper motor hooked up to the Wellbrook and then the cables will run in doors and everything else will be inside so I don't have to worry about weatherproofing it but the bit outside obviously yes all right guys that's it uh, more to come I'll keep working on this and uh, keep an eye out for your suggestions and uh, talk to you soon